In this project I'm going to install a USB dual port charger inside our duplex outlet out here. And it looks like this. We installed one of these last year on the inside of the coach. And I tell you, it works so good that we decided to put one on the outside. That way if we're parked somewhere with a shade out in an easy chair out here with a favorite adult beverage, you know, we can uh, keep our cell phone charged while we're using it. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this with an outlet having a USB on it. Now there are several different types of these and the main difference is how many outlets you have and how many USB ports you have as well as how powerful those USB ports are. I've seen USB ports anywhere from 5 amp output, 3 amp output, uh, 2.1 amp output and even 700 milliamp output. If you buy a 700 milliamp output one, I mean it's going to take you two days to charge your cell phone. So always buy one that's a 3 amp or better. This one particular one, this is a Hubble and it's a 3 amp. Now while you may think that it's kind of a simple thing just to replace this, actually there are a couple things you got to think about. Number one is these things tend to be kind of deep and this particular one is about one and seven eighths inches deep from here to here. Now you may find that the box behind here is not deep enough so you may find you may have to replace it. So you can either replace it with say a deep box like this or what I found also is you can buy an extension and unfortunately I couldn't buy one in white, all I could buy one was in gray but you can paint it if you can't find a white one, I suppose. And the way this works is this goes behind the cover. And I bought a new cover because this cover will not work with those outlets because this is a standard duplex. This one here yep. will work. And what you need to do is you need to buy a cover that's they normally refer to them as uh, GCFI covers. So these are basically designed for ground fault interrupter type outlets. And basically what it means is it's got one big square hole. I got one open here and you can see it's got one big rectangular hole. Whereas the old style, it's got two openings for the outlets themselves. And of course the way this would work is you would bolt the cover onto that and so it would stick out further. So I would recommend for aesthetics anyway replacing the box if you can otherwise if you can't then you can use one of these little extensions if you don't have enough of a space behind there. So we get the power off the AC power and I'm going to come in here real quick and remove the two screws. And actually there's a third screw in the center. And hopefully you can see now what I mean by duplex. You see how that's a standard duplex outlet and what you need is one that looks like this on the back. Okay, so this is just a standard outlet that we're going to pull out of here. We take our tape measure. We find that we have an interference with about one and a quarter inches back. So even if I push this back as far as it'll go, I'm still about a quarter inch short. So this box is really too, too shallow to uh, use. So I'm going to open this up a little further and see if I can replace the box. And again, you know, each RV is different. So your RV may or may not have an issue with such things. Okay, and these, ha these are the type of boxes that are designed they have these little um, brackets on here that open up when you tighten them and they're designed to grab on 
Uh, and I don't know what happened to this one. One of them fell out somewhere. Or maybe it wasn't ever installed, I don't know. I've removed the old box, and now I'm going to put the deeper one in. As luck would have it, it fits. So now I'm just tightening this box up. Now when you do wiring, you need to get the polarity correct. And you'll see that always the brass screw is going to be on the black side and the silver screw is always going to be on the white side. But on the ground screw, you notice that there's a hook or a loop in this, in this uh, wire. Well, if you can envision the old rule, lefty loosey, righty tighty, when I tighten this, it turns clockwise. And as it's clockwise, it maintains this loop. Now, if I put this loop on the other way, as I tighten it, it would spread the loop out. So I always have the loop so that these two pieces will go together when it goes clockwise. I'm having a little bit of a problem getting this gasket in here and then getting this to fit properly. And there's a, there's a bit of a gap on the back side still. You know, what I think I'm going to probably do is put a little bit of goop on there, maybe. I don't know. Well, here's the outlet cover. And I ended up running a bead of silicone all the way around it. And get yourself one of these little small glue syringe things. You can just precision place the silicone along here. Now we have a USB port on a 120 volt outlet uh, on the outside of the coach. So we can just sit down and have a good time and plug our phone in and have our phone powered up as we're using it out in the middle of the wilderness.